Hi everyone, try sure all are doing well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create our own custom authentication hook. So in your hooks folder, just create a new file and call this one auth.js. Now, you don't have to create your own. There are two packages that you can use. And let me quickly show you. Now, the first one is nextauth.js. It's kind of extensive in dealing with authentication in Next.js. There's a documentation that you can follow. They're currently on version 4. And there are tutorials. So everything ready out of the box for you to deal with authentication. Now, the other one that I want to talk about is the Laravel Breeze Next. Now, this one, if you use Laravel to build the API, but you use the Laravel Breeze scaffolding, this is quite handy to do so that you can just use this authentication starter kit for next year is it will work very well with each other now this is authentication starter kit now as you can see it includes all the things that we just created so far the axios right here the other one is the one that we're just going to create right now the auth.js it's included but just remember the one that i'm going to create for myself it's not going to be very different than this it's just down to my personal preference i like to understand what i do so if something does go wrong i can just go back to my code and fix it all right the other one is as well in the scaffolding it actually creates components for you as well so as you can go in here like layouts like you've got your app layout you've got your guest layout so app layout is if you authenticated guest layout is if you're not authenticated and then you have all the other components in there as well totally totally nice little get out package for you so if there's obviously a this installation guide as well so i'll leave a link for you guys in the description so just go there go to the link and see what works well for you all right so let's build our own all right so let's create our component so we're just going to say export a constant and we're just going to call it use auth okay. it's just a convention then we set it to an arrow function all right so in here we're just going to return an object and this is going to be the user the next one is going to be crf token and then we're going to have probably a loading state i think that will work well so loading state and log in and lock out all right now you can obviously decide if you want to add like password reset verify email all that extra juicy stuff i obviously left the link for you guys in the description for the laravel package in getup all right so let's bring it in on top here right here i just want to set all the things i'm just going to say loading state so let's just do that so loading then i need the user and then i need the csrf login and then lock out okay so i know i need to create all of these for myself just the memory all right so that i'm just going to bring in the router so i'm going to equal that to use the router now the router right here is if you as you can see if i type it in here it will automatically bring it in for me so just import use router from next router okay so just like this and i'm just going to add semicolons at the end because in our pretty right here we set semis to true okay you don't have to add them in there is with the new convention you don't have to add semicolons in javascript okay now if you're coming from php we have to so if you kind of want to stick to that convention so you don't forget to add them when you get to php just add them in there anyways let's quickly add our state snippet so i'm just going to use use state snippet right i'm just going to add it is loading need to spell this correctly so loading all right set is loading and i just want to set it by default to true right here okay so the next thing is we need to bring in the user so let's just do that so constant and i'm just going to set it to object so data is going to be the user any errors that we might get retrieving that user or mute it and we're going to set that equal to use is w r now this as you can see it brings it in automatically right there so just like this before we continue right there i just wanted to show to anyone that's new to the channel so we installed swr right here now this is a react hook library 
created by Nextshare is. Now, what this does is basically allows us to fetch data, cache data, and refresh data in real time. Okay, so this is what this does, this user. Right, so now the next thing is we need to go to our API that we created. So API forward slash v1 forward slash user. Now, if the person logs in, we need to basically retrieve that user right there. Right, so let's quickly do that. So Axios, we're just going to need to bring in Axios, the one that we created. Not, not that Axios, basically our library. So let me just do that. Just hopefully it works now. Right, so what I'm going to do, forward slash, and then we're just going to go to lib, and then inside lib, forward slash Axios. Okay, so we're just going to go in there to basically get our Axios. The file that we just created, so in there, as you can see, axios.js. So that's the file that I want to access because inside this file right here, we're just going to go to that local host 8000 extra base URL. So when we go to our author right here, so localhost 8000 forward slash API for E1 user, we're going to get the right stuff. All right, so then we're just going to get, okay, so I'm just going to add this API v1 forward slash user okay so that is that i'm just need to just going to space this out correct it's just easier to see then in there what we're going to do is we're going to get the response we're going to set that to the response dot data dot data all right so what you can do you can obviously if you want to check if you get any error so all you can do now is you can add a dot catch like this all right and then you can just say the error so if there is any error okay so we just write an if statement so if there's any error in the response okay so response dot status so if there's any error but it's not equal to four or nine and then we can just obviously just say throw the error so throw Right, so I'm in my Laravel app right now. So I just wanted to show you. So this is the endpoint that we're going to hit, where we're going to go to our user controller. So if I go in there, you will see we're returning a user resource that make, and then we're just going to get the auth user right there. So in our route list right here, we just need to get to this point as well, the Sanctum CRF cookie. So I'm just going to get this as well. All right, so that's our user pound right done right there so next thing is let's quickly create our csrf cookie so let's just going to create a constant called csrf and we're going to set that to an arrow function as well and then we're just going to say axios all right and we're just going to get and then we're just going to go to forward slash sanctum forward slash csrf and then just the cookie just like that Right, the episode is getting a little bit too long. So what I will do in the next episode is we're going to deal with the lock in and the lockout and obviously the middleware that we need to deal with. I'll see you guys there and do all the YouTube stuff and see you in the next one. Adios.